My sister and I are buying a television for our room. Because I am older, I will pay forty-five dollars more than my sister. If the television costs two hundred ninety-nine dollars, then how much does my sister have to pay? I can just do this the way we always solve these kind of algebraic problems. I'll just say the number of dollars I pay is d d for dollars. I mean, my sister pays is d dollars because I pay forty-five dollars more than my sister does. So basically, I pay d plus forty-five. Good thing that all this is addition, so we don't need. There's annoying parentheses make the whole thing look a whole lot more advanced when it's not. It's actually pretty easy to get to this step. So, anyways, because this is how much me and my sister pays, and we're paying for this entire television, our parents are not paying for not a single cent of this. We're paying this all for ourselves. Well, then that's two hundred ninety-nine dollars. No other thing needed. So now we just solve this right first. We have two d that forty-five subtract that, and we just have two hundred and fifty-four. Good thing that's even, so we don't have to like calculate how many cents we pay. So, anyways, divide by two, and d is one hundred. And twenty-seven. Now, whenever you get to the end like this, when you're like, because it kind of took a while to figure this out, we'll just go back to the question. Make sure that this this D is what we want. If the television costs two hundred ninety-nine dollars, then how much does my sister have to pay? Well, D is the, num the number of dollars my sister has to pay. So, our answer is indeed one hundred twenty-seven bucks.